The returning champion, Emiliano Sordi, welcomes the PFL newcomer, Chris Camozzi. Camozzi is a very experienced fighter. He's confident that he can be the man to take out Dogo Argentino, Emiliano Sordi. Randy, do we believe? Camozzi may be new to the PFL, but he is not new to this sport. He's got almost 40 fights. He had a fight camp change. He's training now at Genesis, and he feels like he had to battle with this new camp, new guys. Every single day was a fight with these new opponents. They didn't know each other very well, and that reinvigorated him. He's excited about the opportunity here. He definitely has the experience to win this fight. It's one hell of a way to make a debut against that man, Kenny Florian. That's right, he's just so relaxed. He's got the ability to find your chin from anywhere, has a propensity for sending his opponents into the shadow realm. And I'll tell you what, he's good on the ground as well, so watch out. We'll see how they match up physically in our tale of the tape presented by the U.S. Marines. Emiliano Sordi, still young, only 30 years old, and already a belt holder and a $1 million championship. The older Kamozi is more experienced. He has a one-inch reach advantage in the arms. Advantage to Sordi on the leg reach. Lillian Garcia starts us on ESPN2. Well, good evening from Atlantic City with the 2021 regular season of the Professional Fighters League. We are ready to get this light heavyweight fight underway. So get fired up, because it's about to get real. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he specializes in kickboxing and jiu-jitsu. Standing at 6'3", he officially weighs in at 204 pounds. In 39 professional bouts, this 15-year veteran has a record of 25 wins and 14 losses with 15 victories by stoppage. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, here is Chris. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is a striker. Standing at 6'2", he officially weighs in at 205 and one half pounds. In 30 professional bouts, he has a record of 22 wins and eight losses, with 22 victories by stoppage. Fighting out of Rio Cuarto, Argentina, here is your 2019 PFL Light Heavyweight World Champion, Emiliano Dogo. Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson oversees the action for our first bout of this main card on ESPN2. Emiliano Sordi, the 2019 champion in the light heavyweight division in the gold trunks. Chris Cabozzi making his Sir, PFL ready? debut Sir, in the black Fight. and gray. Sordi a heavy betting favorite as we start the card on ESPN2. Touch of the gloves, Cabozzi in the southpaw stance. Inside leg kick from Kamosi. He rushes in, can't really land. Nice right hand and a jab afterward from Emiliano Sordi. Yeah, Sordi dangerous whether he's moving forward or going backwards. Kamosi, mainly known for his leg game, has really been working on his boxing as of late. These guys are going at it, not wasting any time. Kamosi doing a pretty good job of moving his head and not being an easy target to hit. Another inside leg kick, and he eats a right hand for it. Again to the low leg. Looked like that one might have hurt a little bit for the offensive man. Looks like Kamosi's having, having some trouble getting his footing there in the canvas. Knee to the body in the clinch there from Sorty. Tries to get some distance. Keith Peterson says it's not an eye poke. Keep fighting. Nice left oh. hand from Kamosi on the way in. Kamosi caught him. And a jab cracks for Emiliano Sordi. Stalking his dogo. Kamozi firing right back. Just over one minute in, and they're already getting after it here in light heavyweight action. Yeah, both these guys have landed some big shots so far. Nice right hand. Sordi on the way out. Kamozi's got to be careful of standing too tall. Those hooks of Sordi will come out. 
Randy, we saw Kamozi have some success with a clinch and dirty boxing. A few of those little short uppercuts snuck through. Did a nice job with the collar tie, attached himself to Sorty, landed some nice little uppercuts and hooks from that position. Sorty good enough to move his head and clear that position. Tell you what, that inside low kick from Chris Kamozi has landed five or six times already. Yeah, that's where he's having the most amount of success, but he has had some good chances with his dirty boxing. Nice left hand from Kamozi there as well. Good exchange from both men. Just as promised, excitement here in our first light heavyweight bout of the ESPN2 card. Every win in Emiliano Sordi's career has come via stoppage. He's looking for points in the light heavyweight standings. A little blood coming from the nose of Sordi. Kamozi is scoring. Nice duck to get himself out of a bad spot there by Emiliano Sordi. He catches the front kick and fires a right hand right down the middle. Sordi moves his head so well. Oh, spinning back fist. That's nice. Knee on the way in from Chris Kamozi. Nice work from both men. Three minutes gone here in round number one. Kamozi trying to set up a takedown there. Oh. Sorty takes his back, standing here against the cage, and is able to reap that leg out and lands in half guard. I no, full mount, right mount. Excuse me, he's mounted. Lands right in the mouth. Uh oh. Hip escape here by Kamozi trying to get out of the bad situation from full mount. I think this is where Sorty has a big advantage here, guys, and he's got total control of the back and in a great position to finish with a rear naked choke. Both hooks in now, anchored in to that back position. There's the choke coming. Figure four body lock laid on by Kamozi. Kamozi in big trouble. Kamozi's got his chin down, he's got his neck protected. A lot of times you'll see him just crank right through to the chin and the jaw. He's gonna finish if he's able to get that left arm behind the head. Squeezing away is Emiliano Sordi. Kamozi able to survive for now. Goes to two on one. Very difficult to escape when you have that body tri triangle. You see the legs. Body triangle makes it very tough to breathe too for the yes. bottom guy. Another choke attempt here from Emiliano Sordi cranking. You see him alternating back and forth, Kenny, between the short choke and the full rear naked where he tries to get his head or his hand behind the head. Yeah, Kamozi does not want to go belly down. This would really leave him defenseless, but Sordi landing some big shots from top here. Sordi in control. 30 seconds remain. Can Chris Kamozi hang on in round number one? Don't let that arm go. Keep that two. Sordi trying to chip away, trying to get that wrist underneath the chin of Kamozi. Kamozi doing a great job of hanging in there, showing some big time toughness. Here comes the 10 second clapper. It does appear that Chris Kamozi will see round number two. Emiliano Sordi, Chris Kamozi, and a round two ahead on ESPN2. PFL's exclusive fighter performance rating is brought to you by Rich Energy. A score from 1 to 100 based on the impact of your performance inside the cage. Every fighter, every round. We'll see how Emiliano and Chris Camozzi scored out in round number one. Sean O'Connell, Randy Couture, Kenny Florian. Cage side here at Ovation Hall in Atlantic City. Sir, are you ready? Sir, are you ready? Fight. Touch of the gloves to start round number two. Chris Camozzi looks to be the little bit fresher fighter at this stage of the fight. Yeah, a lot of deep breaths from Emiliano Sordi. The verdict fan vote says that that was a 10-9 round for Emiliano Sordi and a strong performance from the returning champion, 92 in the FPR.
Randy, I agree with you. Nice Sorting right hand. Really worked hard in that first round to try to get Kamozi out of there, but he's going right back to work here. Emiliano Sorti spent the first seven months of lockdown without the ability to train. He took it upon himself to feed his community in Argentina because of all the troubles with the pandemic. Pretty amazing thing to step up and do. The right hand is finding a home on the chin of Chris Kamozi, but he's wearing him, which what we've seen from Sorti's power, that's an accomplishment in and of itself. Nice leg kick again, and a knee attempt. Sorti does a great job of moving that torso and moving his feet to avoid those punches from Kamozi. That time, that time the balance came loose after a kick from Kamozi. And Kamozi waiting in, being the aggressor here. There's that collar tie again. Sorti punches him off. Body shots from Chris Kamozi. Kamozi needs to continue using those kicks to the inside of the leg. He's finding a lot of success with that, and that will slow Sorti down. That one took Sorti down to a knee. He shakes his head as if it meant nothing, but when you go down like that, it means something. Another one from Chris Kamozi. That inside low leg kick is scoring, as I mentioned in the first round, and over and over again. Oh, nice hook from Sorti. This time it's Sorti on his back. It looked like Sorti landed the heavier punt, but it was Kamozi that got the knockdown there. And he not sure if it was a slump or a knockdown. But either way, Kamozi is in a great position here in half guard. Working with the left hand on the head and face of Emiliano Sorti. And Randy, you talked about how Kamozi looked like the pressure fighter here. You don't want to be on bottom when you're winning. Absolutely not. And then make the guy, you have to react to the guy on top of you who's throwing punches and trying to put you in a very bad situation. Nice defense there by Sorti. Grabbing the left wrist of Chris Kamozi. And now he'll work to turn his way out. It looked like Sorti was trying to attack the leg, try to get a leg entanglement on the left leg of Kamozi. And Kamozi taking full advantage of that slip off of a, an attempted leg kick from Sorti. Sorti trying to get that underhook. Now trying to get on the side of his hip, try to get back to his feet, or working a sweep to try to get his hips underneath the hips of Kamozi. Nice pressure and top control from Chris Kamozi. Emiliano Sorti known for his striking, but he's no slouch on the ground. And now he bellies out to get away. <laughs> Corner position by Sorti. He's hoping to find a way to explode to his feet and get out of this situation. Here's some hand control, working his way up. Sorti drags, excuse uh -oh. me, Kamozi drags him back down. And now Sorti's able to work up to his feet. And he takes Chris Kamozi back to the ground. We saw him here in round number one. Wow, I mean, this may come down to conditioning, guys. These guys have been working nonstop for every minute of every round. And now it's Sorti starting to turn the tables on Kamozi here as he works to try to pass the guard. Only one fight in Emiliano Sorti's career has gone even into the third round. He's not accustomed to fighting this hard, this deep. A kick attempt by Kamozi as Sorti tries to exit. Kamozi trying to keep the space, trying to post his feet on the hips of Sorti. Sorti unable to pass, goes back to standing, attempts a nice little nice. Oh, 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 Sorti's in trouble. Sorti's in big trouble. trouble. What's going on? He's definitely in trouble. Yeah, I, I think he's exhausted as well, guys. Kamozi did a great job of keeping him at bay, and once he got to his feet, he landed a great shot as he got to his knees and feet. Emiliano Sorti now leaning on Chris Kamozi. Grueling fight here. Kamozi looking to work a 10 finger guillotine potentially here, grabbing this front headlock. Oh. Sorti had to address it, had to spin out. Must have been tight, he definitely had to make an adjustment. There's the 10 second clapper. Hammer fist from Chris Kamozi turning the tide here in round two. Round three next. Light heavyweight action inside the PFL Smart Cage. Chris Camozzi, Emiliano Sorti.
So heading into ready? the third round, so and the last Fight. time Emiliano Sordi saw the third round was 2011. Randy Couture. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And Kamozi still looks to be the fresher fighter. You see a little of the wear and tear on Sordi's face. Hopefully he can dig deep and finish strong. I have it one round apiece right now. According to our verdict fan vote and our fighter performance rating, Chris Kamozi was able to steal round number two, so potentially a round apiece here in the third and final round. Oh, hand drops, Chris Kamozi. Big one two from Sorty, and Sorty trying to finish the job here against Kamozi. This has been back and forth, Sean. Great job by Kamozi, not really wearing any damage as Emiliano Sorty came down on top. The Argentine now in half guard. Sorty in a great position, guys, to maybe get an arm triangle. See if he, if he can get his head to the mat, he can finish this, even from half guard. Earlier tonight, we saw Martin Hamlet finish that thing from the guard. Yeah, that was a big squeeze. I have never seen that done from the guard. Oh, no. He's going to go for it, guys. Emiliano Sordi climbing out oh, to the mount. Oh, Chris Cabozzi now flat on his back. Not a great position to be in underneath the Argentine striker. Big right hands coming down. Sordi steering him back towards the cage. He wants to trap him at the bottom of that barrier and make it a little more difficult for Chris Cabozzi to get out of there. Tell you what, Sordi looked exhausted coming into the round, but he's not showing the same in this advantageous position. Funny how that happened. Yeah. yeah, well, his killer instinct takes over, man. I mean, he's got some dominant positions here, and Sordi, we all know about his killer instinct and his ability for to finish any opponent in the world. And man, he's going right back to work against Kamozi. They want those right hands. Randy, nobody knows more about <laughs> ground and pound and creating real power from the top than you. Sorty looks like he's putting something on those punches. Absolutely. He's picking his shots. He's not flailing away. He's trying to make each and every one of them count as he hits Chris Kamozi in the head. Yeah, and when you're tired like this, guys, this is where position matters. Sorty wants to make sure that Kamozi doesn't go anywhere. Kenny Florian, my Spanish is limited, but Emiliano Sordi just looked to his corner and asked how much time. <laughs> Halfway gone is round number three. Two and a half minutes remain for Emiliano Sordi and Chris Camozzi to try and capitalize on the finish and get at least one bonus point here. Keep working. Camozzi staying busy. If you weren't watching on ESPN Plus, the light heavyweight division, Already saw three finishes tonight. Two first rounders and a second round submission. So even a finish here still puts you in fourth place and only the top four light heavyweights make the playoffs. I mean, have we had a theme for the PFL this season or what? There are two regular season fights. Every point counts. Sorty goes to work with the left hand. Chris Camozzi is stuck. Wrist control on the far side for Emiliano Sorty. So he's got that seatbelt position that gives him a free hand and traps Kamozi and allows him to chip away at him. Yeah, and this is a battle of space, guys. If you're on offense, you want to take away that space. If you're on defense, you're trying to create as much of it as possible. Sorty just staying right on Kamozi right now. Heavy pressure from the top in the half guard. And a lot of times, guys will like to stay in half guard rather than passing the side control, especially right here where your opponent can use the fence to kick off. I love half guard position because you can lock down on that leg and secure it. It gives you an anchor. You feel precarious in the cross side position. The guy has too many ways to squirt out. Kenny, even as Chris Camozzi tries to build the base with his right arm here, you see Emiliano Sordi immediately break that thing down. It's control and position for Sordi right now. Absolutely. Well, just like Randy said, he's in that half guard position. Chris needs to get that right leg in, and he can do it now if he's able to get up. But man, he's taking a beating. Sordi stands up out of the guard, throws a few uppercuts and says, no, let's go right wow. back down. Nice takedown on the double leg. Sordi just showing a ton of heart here. You know he's exhausted. And Kamozi staying busy as well. What a fight. You can see how close round number two was, or I guess it swung in Kamozi's favor. The total strikes down there at the bottom of your screen. Full oh, out, full out, full out. Sorty, the finisher still trying to look for it. 20 seconds remain. Can Emiliano Sorty steal a bonus point? Yes, he didn't land anything. Still trying to get that arm triangle now. He's in that arm triangle position. 
He sure is. He's not going for it, Randy. A little surprised by that. Five seconds left. Sorty finishes the fight on top. Wow. What a grueling performance, both men. And we'll have to let the judges decide this one. The light heavyweights on ESPN2. How about that, Cajunomics Stats Bundle presented by Geico? <laughs> Tough one to call. Amazing pace for both those guys in the light heavyweight division. Emiliano Sordi, even when he's tired, dangerous. The right hand sneaks through and puts down Chris Cavosi. I'll let you know, okay? Jab, cross, textbook. And that. Chris Camozzi never got up in the third round after that one. Here's our fighter performance rating presented by Rich Energy. Really? The swing back and forth is why we love these light heavyweights. Nice first round for Miliano Sordi. Camozzi turns the tables in round two. Sordi scores the knockdown and the heavy control from the top position in the three. Verdict, MMA. Let's see what we've got here with Verdict. The fans get to be the judge. Here how, here's how the fans scored the fight. Round one for Sorty, round two for Kamozi, round three for Sorty for a 29-28 final score. I, I had Emiliano Sorty coming back in the third round. He rode him like a barnacle on a battleship. Yeah, definitely. I had Sorty winning rounds one and three. FPR says sorty, fan vote says sorty, Randy and Kenny both say sorty. What do the judges say? Lillian Garcia will let us know. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges scorecard. And the totals are 29-28, 29-28, and 28-27. All for your winner by unanimous decision and earning three points in the light heavyweight division, a million. Emiliano Sordi gets the big decision win. Three points. The finish streak ends, but a gritty, gutty performance by the returning champion. Kenny, he was tired heading into that third round, and he made it happen. He sure was. I mean, he said he was on lockdown with the pandemic, gained a lot of weight, 